Good morning. Uh, my name is Renee Daughtry from Cisco, and I've been in again with my bio. You can heard I've been get encouraged a lot of students to get into the STEM fields of work and innovation of things of that nature. My work has taken me to hang out with celebrities. Wooly Bully from the Durham Bulls <laughs> came to the Cisco campus, and we had a really good time. And I got to follow this crowd. Jesus Christ, it's going to be very interesting. I'm not going to talk about technology, even though I'm Cisco. I want to talk about some tools and things that I've enhanced and worked with a lot of students with and teachers to help enhance the students uh, learning capabilities. Uh, I went to school when I went to school we talked had a teacher that spoke in front of the room talking head we took notes and we paid attention. The students now are totally innovative smartphones devices is what they use as instructors let's use that. The US the lowest in STEM curriculum, STEM graduation, it's, an, it's a known fact. All we want to do, and what I'd like to do, is get my students to be competitive with the rest of the world. So let's take a look and see the things that are out there now. What do we do? What do we do for these students? Some of the things to look in these websites. We're gonna, first, we can go actually step into their world, the 21st century world is the way I like to look at it. And by looking at some of the things that's out here already, that's free, free. The Show Door Educational Center, oops. The Show Door Educational Center in Durham, North Carolina, www.showdoor.com. The executive director is Mr. Robert Pandoff, and I asked him, where did he get the name Show Door? And he said to me, when I was in college, they said I was short and dorky. So <laughs> I put together my organization, <laughs> and it came up with Show Door. Innovative games, free games, math and science games for the instructors and the, edu and the students to enhance their, their learning capability. Games in algebra, geometry, trigonometry, science games, things that are here to get these students engaged in what you're teaching them. Because again, they're super innovative, super innovative. Also, I've got a lot of educators who come to me and they go, my high schoolers want internships, something we encourage. Unfortunately, Cisco doesn't have high school internships. Shodor Educational Center does. So as educators, you can build an account, start looking at this. They actually have paid internships for high school students. So please encourage our students to get out there to get some type of work experience and help build their resumes. There's a social group called, there's an uh, application called Yammer, and a lot of companies use this. In school, you say, oh, no Facebook. Educators, create a social media, sp 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 a place for them so they can have Facebook-like capabilities. You can create these social groups and then have the students work together. Quick, quick for instance, I worked with uh, Panther Creek High School over here in uh, Cary, North Carolina. And we created a Yammer account so they can collaborate with their, the high school, with their high school peers in the UK. The teachers controlled it. So they did, they did projects together. They, did ap they actually created applications together. But the instructors were able to monitor their online, online uh, uh, social network and enhance what they were doing. So again, something to use to help the students. Now, Google, we all know about the cloud and Google Docs. I'll give you, for example, my son goes to uh, Sterling Montessori. He is 13 years old. He came down the other day to do his homework, and he had his earbuds in, bopping down the steps, and he had his iPod in his hand. My wife was ready to say something to him. I said, no, watch what he does. He went to my Mac. He had FaceTime up collaborating with his, with his peers in eighth grade. He brought up Google Docs. They did their project in Google Docs. And then he came back, to, came, went back to school the next day, brought it down from Google Docs and presented it. Again, look at these tools out here and get your students totally engaged in their social media. It's the only way to go. Futures for Kids, Cisco sponsored partner. Your students are looking for mentors. We always encourage 
students to have mentors. In this stage in my career, I have a mentor. Educators, you create account, an account. The students create an account. They have various mentors on this website, like myself. I went through a vigorous background check. I am now a certified mentor for the state of North Carolina. I can safely speak to minors. This is what you want. You want a safe haven. You want somewhere where students can ask professional questions or even for them to help with homework. I help many students across North Carolina with their homework. They'll ask me questions. Mr. Daughtry, the favorite question, how much do you get paid? <laughs> they all want to know, but I can safely answer them. So again, encourage your students. High school, middle school students, create account on Futures for Kids. Moodle. People familiar with Moodle? Good, good, good. If you're not, another wonderful website and a powerful community. I've seen teachers now record, do a video recording of their classes, post it on Moodle, post the grades, post homework and assignments on Moodle. So now, as an instructor, you know sometimes our students, God bless their souls, are doing things they're not supposed to be doing in class, or they fall asleep, or they're doing something. But if it's on Moodle, they can go back and review it at a later date on their smart devices. So again, my millenniums, my 21st century students, I want to use and access the things they're using to enhance their learning experience. So again, just look at these things. See how can you use them to help enhance the student's experience. And lastly, LinkedIn, and I use my own profile, bless you, LinkedIn, according to didyouknow.org, LinkedIn is the number one recruiting tool in the United States. I've got middle school students that I bring to the Cisco campus. I've got them starting early to build their professional resume and profile on LinkedIn. Because, ladies and gentlemen, here's what happens. And I know this for a fact. People do a search on LinkedIn. They'll put in keywords. Manager, project manager, engineer. Mr. Rene Daughtry pops up. The recruiter now wants the link to me. The recruiter will look at my profile, maybe give me a call, and go, Mr. Daughtry, we have this opportunity. Would you be interested? So the best time to get these students involved and to build their professional profiles is now. I tell students when I was growing up, they told me, well, Renee Daughtry, it's who you know. Ah, things have changed. It's who knows you. Social media, powerful. Cisco, EMC, IBM, all these companies are on LinkedIn. Cisco and all these other companies post jobs on LinkedIn. They can join various groups, National Society of Black Engineers, project management groups, different type of groups to join to get information and to build their network. That's the key now. Who knows you? Who knows what, what skills you have? So slowly but surely, getting these students engaged in this, they'll start to build their network. They'll start to put all their, their experiences out on LinkedIn. They'll join other groups and other companies and now they can be well employed. Opportunity. Mr. Renee Daughtry just turned down a, please don't tell on me. <laughs> I've got a Cisco HR person in the room. I've turned down an, an, an employment opportunity with CSX as a project manager for $75,000 a year, all because of LinkedIn. So ladies and gentlemen, again, I just wanted to show you the tools today that some you're familiar with and maybe some that you're not. But let's get these students engaged. And like I said, let's step into their world because they're all about innovative and, and using smart devices to do what they need to do. All right? Fair enough. Thank you. Now, one other thing. Cisco Network Academy. Very, very important. Different schools, we've got them in high schools. We've got them in colleges. They're in Wake Tech. They're in e ECU. They're in various schools around North Carolina. They're sanctioned by Cisco. There's a certain process that, that, that the educators or so schools have to go through. 
But what this does, it gives students a certification when they go through the course. Is it easy? Uh, no. But it gives them a course, it gives them a certification along with their degrees to just have a little more ammunition when they come out to this world in engineering. Engineering is problem solving. So through the Cisco Network Academy, they can get C Cisco certified, Cisco certified network administrator, CSENT certifications, just to enhance and make them more valuable and more important word, competitive. All the engineers that came up today, they're going to need more people. It's just, a, it's, it's just the way it is now. This Cisco certification could help them get there. And again, local academies, they're all over the place. It's a quick short story. I had two ex-offenders who came to me and said, Mr. Daugherty, we just got out of jail and we need some help. I said, well, gentlemen, Mr. Daugherty will help. I'm from New York, and if you mess up, I'm going to hunt you down. <laughs> Sent them to ECPI, School of Technology in Raleigh. Got them a couple of mentors. Ladies and gentlemen, two ex-offenders working for a Cisco partner, forty-five dollars to $50,000 a year. So my high school students, uh, High Bridge High School, I think it's up in um, Greensboro, Cisco Network Academy there. High school student, graduates, Cisco Certified Network Administrator, calls me back, Mr. Daughtry, you were right. I've got a summer job, $40,000 a year. 18 years old. I said, good, but go to college. Let's get that degree. But what he did. But again, just these tools to get these students out there and make them valuable. Fair enough? Good. So questions, but I would like to leave you with a quote as well from one of the great philosophers in our time. I'm not going to say I'm going to change the world, but I guarantee I will spark the mind that will. Tupac Shakur. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. <laughs>